Jeremiah 49.10 But I have made Esau bare. I have uncovered his secret places, and he shall not be able to hide himself. His seed is spoiled, and his brethren, and his neighbors, and he is not. Psalm 64, 8. So they shall make their own tongue to fall upon themselves. All that see them shall flee away. Double honors unto the apostles and the elders. Salutations to all my fellow laborers doing this work in truth and sincerity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To the scattered elect that are scattered around the four corners of the earth that be like unto the speckled bird, the Israelite foreigners. And to the Aquath that are listening and learning to you, I say Shalom. This is your brother Malcolm. And this is body language. So Rand Paul and Dr. Fauci got into it again. I bet you at this point, Fauci dreads anything to do with Rand Paul and is plotting that man's demise. Dr. Fauci, as you are aware, it is a crime to lie to Congress. Section 1001 of the U.S. Criminal Code creates a film. I found that funny. It has nothing to do with Fauci. But you watch this woman in the blue, Dr. Woodcock. You see her moving as he's speaking, her little condescending smile towards Rand Paul. I'm sure they all don't like him. I mean, this woman in the black jacket is literally looking down her nose. But watch what happens, and it's very quick as far as how long it stays on her, but it's long enough to see that that stressed her. Oh, lie to Congress. Oh, instant freeze. It's like, holy shit. Ugh, I digress. Anyways, that was a funny. Section 1001 of the U.S. Criminal Code creates a felony and a five-year penalty for lying to Congress. On your last trip to our committee on May 11th, you stated that the NIH has not ever and does not now fund gain-of-function research in the Wuhan Institute of Virology. And yet, gain-of-function research was done entirely in the Wuhan Institute by Dr. Xi and was funded by the NIH. I'd like to ask unanimous consent to insert into the record the Wuhan virology paper entitled Discovery of a Rich Gene Pool of Bat SARS-Related Coronaviruses. Please deliver a copy of the journal article to Dr. Fauci. In this paper, Dr. Xi credits the NIH and lists the actual number of the grant that she was given by the NIH. In this paper, she took two bat coronavirus genes, spike genes, and combined them with a SARS-related backbone to create new viruses that are not found in nature. These lab-created viruses were then to shown to replicate in humans. These experiments combine genetic information from different coronaviruses that infect animals, but not humans, to create novel artificial viruses able to infect human cells. Viruses that in nature only infect animals were manipulated in the Wuhan lab to gain the function of infecting humans. This research fits the definition of the research that the NIH said was subject to the pause in 2014 to 2017, a pause in funding on gain of function. But the NIH failed to recognize this, defines it away, and it never came under any scrutiny. Dr. Richard E. Bright, a molecular biologist from Rutgers, described this research in Wuhan as, the Wuhan lab used NIH funding to construct novel chimeric SARS-related coronaviruses able to infect human cells and laboratory animals. This is high-risk research that creates new potential pandemic pathogens, potential pandemic pathogens that exist only in the lab, not in nature. This research matches, these are Dr. Ebright's words, this research matches, indeed epitomizes, the definition of gain-of-function research done entirely in Wuhan, for which there was supposed to be a federal pause. Dr. Fauci, knowing that it is a crime to lie to Congress, do you wish to retract your statement of May 11th where you claimed that the NIH never funded gain-of-function research in Wuhan?
microphone down. Your microphone. So he's aggravated. He's so aggravated he forgot about his whole position on this mic thing. Now it doesn't take a genius to sit there and say, oh, he's aggravated and extremely stressed. But the interesting part that I find is the rescue issue. Senator Paul, I have never lied before the Congress, and I do not retract that statement. So you see the believe me look. Every time he talks at this point, he's raising up and hunching himself. He's getting very stiff. This paper that you were referring to was judged by qualified staff up and down the chain as not being gain of function. What was, when let me take, finish. You take an animal virus and you increase its yeah. transmissibility to humans, right. you're saying that's not gain of function? Yeah, that is correct. And, and Senator Paul, you do not know what you are talking about, quite frankly. And I want to say that officially. You do not know what you are talking about. So this is the interesting part. He's starting to look. You do not know what you are talking about. And he looks over, whom I can only assume, because it happens again, to the person having the say in this committee. So he's looking to her. Looking about. Let's okay, you get NIH, one person. It's reach for the NIH. NIH can I answer the question? Function. So again, he looks towards her again. Madam Chair, he wants backup. He wants to be rescued. Or in a sense of he wants strength behind him because his strength is gone. Now prior, Dr. Fauci, he didn't need the strength of the people in the room because he had it kind of hidden. And I mean hidden in the sense of, metaphorically, you go into a restaurant and you definitely can pay the bill, but you look like a homeless person or a lot of people disrespect you. But you know it's okay because you can pretty much buy the place. Now he's going into the restaurant and he's broke and he's trying to pretend as if he has money and the people don't respect him. And he's looking now for allies in the restaurant. And in this case, Congress. This is your definition that you guys wrote. It says that scientific research that increases the transmissibility among mammals is gain of function. They took animal viruses that only occur in animals and they increased their transmissibility to humans. How you can say that is not gain of function. It is not. It's a dance and you're dancing around this because you're trying to obscure responsibility for 4 million people dying around the world okay. from a pandemic. And let's let some Dr. Fauci. I have to, on. well, now you're getting into something. If the point. So you hear her rescue him and let him speak. The point that you are making is that the, ve- the, the grant that was funded as a sub award from EcoHealth. And now you see him with his hand up. So he's physically showing he wants Rand Paul to stop. And he's trying to keep him at bay with this hand as he's speaking with it. It's closed. It's up in a stop motion. Stop, 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 stop. And he's still stressed. So the little bit of rescue that this woman said, let him speak, basically, isn't enough to calm that part of the mind that says, ah, I have friends. Now the mind is in the mindset because the stress is so high. He's trying to keep that person. And usually when humans do this, they overdo it, which is what you see him do as he freaks out. To Wuhan created SARS-CoV-2. That's where you are getting. And there's the freak out. Let me finish. We don't know. Well, we don't wait know a minute. It didn't I come can the lab, but all you. the evidence is pointing that it came from the. He's shaking. He's going up higher and higher, not only in his octave, but in his body. He's trying to be bigger, trying to be louder than his phone lab you and there will be responsibility for those who funded the lab include as you see contrast to Rand Paul here Dr. Rand Paul his voice is getting lower he is not afraid because he has strength whereas Fauci is getting higher because he is afraid including yourself I totally this committee resent, will allow the witness to respond. I totally resent the lie that you are now propagating senator because if you look at the viruses that were used in the experiments, that were given in the annual reports, that were published in the literature, it is molecularly impossible. No one's saying those it, viruses it is, caused it. It no is molecularly. Those virus caused. So you see him now. He's continuously looking towards the uh, chairwoman to tell him to shut up. Take my side. Silence him for me. And she is not doing it. He's constantly looking for that rescue. And she is ignoring it. 
and she gives him a token bone every once in a while. Was the pandemic? What we're alleging is the gain of. And she did not. She is letting Rand Paul chew that head off. Now we're going to go look at something to see how he deals and the interactions that he has with the Democrats. Is he completely abandoned? The one. Time is expired, but I will allow the witness to. Let me just finish. I want everyone to understand that if you look at those viruses, and that's judged by qualified viral. Now he is so stressed. He's got this rubber band that he's playing with in his fingers. Biologist and evolutionary biologist. Those viruses are molecularly impossible no one's to result they are. No in SARS-CoV-2. No one's saying those viruses the pandemic. Pop, we're look. saying they are gain-of-function viruses because they were They're animal not. viruses that became more transmissible in human, and you funded it. And you, you admit the truth. And you implying... Senator Paul, your time has expired, and I will allow witnesses right. who come before this committee to respond. And, and you are implying... So that was his definitive rescue. His time expired, and she's allowing Fauci to respond. That what we did was responsible for the deaths of individual. I totally resent that. Could that. Have and if anybody is lying been. here, Senator, it is you. Uh, and he finished it off. It is you. Tightness in the lip. I'm going to drop the mic moment of readjusting myself in the chair. That's Senator Smith. He can't stop looking at him. He's so stressed. It, it, he dropped the mic, and yet he still wants to make eye contact with Paul. He can't stop. He's that stressed about it. Now we have a Democrat that comes in. And I noticed something very important that I will say at the end. Thank you, Dr. Fauci. And thanks to all. A big movement in the body, a big wave. Ah, an ally. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'm with her. Mm -hmm. The kahuna is calling my name, and she likes me of our panelists for being here today and uh, thank you chair moran still looking at Rand Paul. ha 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 i have a friend thank you member burr um i just want to say dr fauci is there anything more that you would like to say to counteract these um attacks on your integrity that we've all just witnessed well senator thank you i don't think i have anything further to say this is a pattern that senator paul has been doing now at multiple hearings based on no reality he keeps talking about gain of function. This has been evaluated multiple times by qualified people to not fall under the gain of function definition. Job 13, four. But ye are forgers of lies. Ye are all physicians of no value. Wa ba ba ba, kwam yashirala.